how to repair your MacBook Pro MagSafe charging cable for pretty much free if you have the tools. Or like 20 bucks if you don't have the tools. For the specific issue, we're looking at cords that are exposed like this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that quick. So we gathered our tools, we got our wire stripper, some electrical tape, our soldering iron, and I forgot to mention you guys need some solder too, so. Now I'm gonna start out by cutting it down here, giving it a little bit more slack to work with. Okay, and see what happened with this is the shielded braid around the outside, which is the ground totally disconnected from that of the the cable, so there's where our issue was. So I'm gonna try stripping off a little bit of this rubber here to get enough of this bare shield exposed to solder. Okay, so we got a nice bit there for the bare, and then we'll strip this, and then we'll prepare the uh, other end of the cord. Now for this end, we gotta strip this, get some exposed wires. So we got the bare shield. I'll strip the hot one. And strip the hot one on this. We're gonna cut off this thin part here on the top. Now we're gonna connect we're gonna twist the bear and the bear together and the hot and the hot together. So we're twisted together now. And I recommend soldering them together outdoors or with uh, proper ventilation. So let's take this outside. This is the most important part of this repair. Just making sure you get a strong connection with these. And we're ready to go. Make sure you got a clean solder tip. There we go, clean it off. Tin the tip. Put a little bit of solder on there. Now it's time to start heating our wires. If you guys are interested in the specifics on how to solder, leave a comment and I can uh, make an instructional video on how, how to solder properly. So for the most part, you just wanna get your metal up to the melting point of your solder. So you want it to be hot enough so that when you touch your solder to it, your solder melts and begins to set in the wire. So we're getting there. See how the solder melts when I touch it to the, the wire? That's what you want to have happening. Let it sit on there. It burns off the rosin core. So there you go, we got our first one. All right, make sure you got your clean tip once again for your next solder. Heating up the shield bear right now. Uh, it looks like it's already taken so. And again, burn off the rosin core. Let that solder really sink in there. All right, now the, the difficult part is done. Now you're gonna let that cool for maybe 10 minutes or so. And then we're gonna take some of our electrical tape wrap it up and test it out and see if it works. I'm gonna cover up this lead wire that's exposed so we got that covered. Well, that's just to make sure that's not uh, touching the ground so it doesn't get shorted out. Just make sure those two wires are separate so they don't touch. It's not gonna be the prettiest. If you want, uh, want it to look a little better what you can do is Get a little bit of heat shrink tubing and slide it all the way over and get it to there and then just heat it up and then it'll look pretty professional actually. There you go, not the prettiest, but it should do. Let's go test it out. All right, now we got the moment of truth. Connect your dealy. All right, now we're gonna plug it in and it's charging, baby. Look at that. And there you have it. Thanks for stopping by, guys.